307 is a type of temporary redirect. The URL being requested by the user has moved to a temporary location, but will return. Redirects can be useful, but it's important to be careful about when and how you use them, as well as which ones you use. Using a 307 redirect is appropriate when you are updating content on a page, migrating to a different CMS, switching domain names, or taking your site down temporarily due to maintenance. The key is to only use a 307 redirect when you know that the move will be temporary. Otherwise, you're better off using a 301 or 308 redirect, so your SEO link juice will be passed onto the new URL from the old one. There are a few different ways to implement redirects. On a WordPress website, the best method is to usually specify the 307 redirect in your .ht access file. Note that because this is such an important file, it's crucial to treat any changes you make to it with caution and care. You can implement a redirect by using the mod rewrite module. That will look something like this. And this is available in the blog post linked in the description. But instead of manually configuring the redirect yourself, another option is to use a WordPress plugin such as Quick Page Post Redirect Plugin. This free tool lets you add 301, 302, and 307 redirects to your WordPress site. However, it's important to note that it uses what's known as meta refresh redirects. These occur within the browser, not your web server. This means that the redirect tells the browser to navigate to the specified URL within a certain time span. This is what's happening when you see a web page that says something like, if you are not redirected within five seconds, click here. Not only can these types of redirects confuse your visitors, but they can also make search engine crawlers assume that your site contains spam content if they're used too often. Therefore, we only recommend using this method if you cannot set up a redirect via your HT access file. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.